how much are closing costs in Utah? Today we're going to be talking about home buyer closing costs and we're going to be starting right now. Hi, I'm Angela Duong with Coldwell Banker Tugar Realtors and MadHomeUtah.com. If this is your first time to our channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Let's get started on home buyer closing costs. The cost can include a variety of fees and will depend on the amount of your loan and or purchase price. As a good rule of thumb, I usually just kind of estimate 3% of the purchase price to help give home buyers an idea of how much closing costs are going to be. To get a more accurate number, I would suggest talking to your lender because they're going to be able to break down numbers for your situation and loan type and to give you a more accurate number. When it comes time to write an offer for my buyers, I usually get with the lender and let them know the purchase price so they can give me an idea of how much closing costs that individual buyer is going to need. That way we are not asking for too little or too much of closing costs for our home buyer. When you start the pre-qual process with the lender, they're going to give you a breakdown of the fees you can expect. And when the time comes that you have an accepted offer on a home, they're going to update you on those numbers to get it more accurate for that specific house and purchase price. You are then going to receive a closing disclosure three days before your scheduled closing to look over the final numbers. It is required that you acknowledge the closing disclosure three days before closing. Closing costs for a home buyer is usually broken down into three sections. There's lender fees, title company fees, and prepaid costs. Lender fees may show up as an origination fee or it may be broken down into individual fees such as courier fees, appraisal fees, credit report fees, underwriting fees, tax certificate fees, flood certificate fees, funding fees, items like that. An optional closing fee that a home buyer can have is discount points. A discount point is 1% of the loan amount and this discount point can be used to lower the interest rate. Your lender will be able to consult with you the pros and cons of doing discount points and whether that option is right for you. The next section is the fees from the title company. You're gonna have title search fees, lender's title insurance, settlement fees, as well as fees to record the warranty deed, wire transfer fees, and courier fees. The last section of your closing costs are going to be the prepaid fees. One being they're gonna pay your homeowner's insurance for the year, but then also set up your escrow account, which is an account that holds your yearly property taxes and homeowner's insurance. So what they're gonna do is collect a few extra months of homeowner's insurance, as well as a few months to six months of your property taxes, depending on the time of year, so that when the time comes to renew your homeowner's insurance or pay your property taxes, there is enough in your escrow account to pay those payments the next year that comes around. So who pays closing costs? Well, buyers and sellers have their own set of closing costs. A seller typically pays the real estate commissions, a title insurance policy, not the lender's policy that you have to pay for, but a title insurance policy and their side of the title settlement fees. In many cases, first time home buyers don't have all the closing costs to pay upfront or they may be doing 100% financing. Buyers are able to negotiate with the seller to get those costs figured out into the purchase price in order to finance their closing costs. If you are able to negotiate all the closing costs into the purchase price, I do highly suggest that you talk to your lender about the appraisal fee. There are some lenders that do require the home buyer to pay the appraisal fee up front when the appraisal is ordered, and there are many that will just finance that into their closing costs. So just check with your lender because that is one expense that some buyers just aren't ready for and then get upset at the time of ordering the appraisal. So just plan on if you do have to pay upfront for your appraisal, it could be between five and $600, but of course your lender is going to be able to tell you what, the what they are going to require. There are two other items that I do want you to know upfront that aren't really in your closing costs. And that is when you write an offer, you offer earnest money that sits in an account at the real estate company or title company. And it's just showing your interest. Um, in Utah, it's between $500, $2,000 usually. So you just wanna 
be prepared that earnest money is most likely going to be a minimum of $500 that you're going to have to give within four days of your accepted offer to sit in an account. And then also if you get a home inspection, which I highly recommend because that is very important to know what kind of home you're getting into and if there's any issues, that can cost you between three and $400 depending on what home inspection you get and which company you go with. Well, I hope you found this information useful and you have learned something about buyer closing costs. Again, uh, as a rule of thumb, I use about 3% of the purchase price to get a general idea of how much closing costs are gonna be required. But as always, talk to your lender and they're gonna be able to break down the numbers more accurately for your situation. If you need a lender contact, I'd be happy to help you. My information's down below and I can share with you some of the lenders that we use. And again, this is Angela Duong, Coldwell Banker, Two God Realtors, and MadHomeJuta.com. And please hit the subscribe button down below and we will see you in the next video.